Today, we're gonna make pizza dough using a poolish. What's a poolish, you might ask? Well, it's a highly fluid yeast cultured dough. It's a type of preferment traditionally used in the production of French bakery products. In layman's terms, it's a yeast starter. With a poolish, you get a lot of the benefits of using a sourdough starter without all the time and commitment that you need to maintain a sourdough culture. Essentially, by using a poolish to make your pizza, you'll get a more developed flavor in your pizza dough a faster, healthier fermentation, and in many cases, better gluten development. The only downside is that it can add an extra 12 to 18 hours of time to your dough making process. So if I'm planning on making pizza on Friday night, I'll start my poolish Wednesday night and then make dough with it Thursday morning. I'll start the poolish by weighing out 150 grams of room temperature filtered water. I'll add one gram of active dry yeast to that and give it a little stir. Then I'll add 150 grams of all-purpose or double zero flour to it. Mix that up just until the flour is hydrated and you have a very loose dough. Now cover it up and let it rest at room temperature for 10 to 18 hours or until it's time to make your pizza dough. It will nearly double in size as the yeast ferments the sugars in the flour. This active fermentation is going to help get your yeast all rallied up and it's going to add a ton of great developed flavor to your final dough. Now, for making the dough, in your mixing bowl, add 500 grams of filtered water and 1 gram of active dry yeast, then add 850 grams of flour. To that, I'm going to add 20 grams of fine sea salt and 20 grams of good olive oil. Mix on low for 5 to 10 minutes or until a nice firm dough is achieved. Then go ahead and toss in all of your poolish. Mix on low for another 10 minutes. The end result should be a strong dough that doesn't tear or shear when you pull on it. Cover this and let it rest for two hours. After two hours, put your dough on a clean work surface and divide it into the size dough ball that you need. For a 12 inch pizza, I like to use 250 gram dough balls. For a 16 inch pizza, I'll use 450 grams. After the dough is all divided, ball it up using the technique you prefer. I like to stretch the dough slightly in opposite directions and then fold it into itself, rotate 90 degrees, and repeat until you form a nice smooth ball. After you have all your dough balls formed, place them into a grease container or a dough proofing box. You'll want to let these proof in the fridge for at least 24 hours before using them. However, you can store them for up to 72 hours if you like. Make sure to remove them from the fridge at least one hour before you intend on making pizza and up to four hours. That's all there is to it. This recipe should bake up awesome in less than two minutes in a home pizza oven between 750 and 850 degrees, something like a rock box or you can bake it in a standard home oven on a pizza steel at 550 degrees. It should take about six and a half to seven minutes if you bake it that way. The end result is a perfectly browned crust with amazing crispness, spring back, and gorgeous crumb structure. The flavors will be complex and delicious. I hope you give it a try on your next pizza night and let me know what you think. Also, if you found any value at all in this video, why not hit subscribe? All right, kisses for now. Mwah.